Hey Elonites, welcome to the Tesla space where we share the latest news, rumors, and insights into all things Tesla, SpaceX, and Elon Musk. The Tesla semi truck will be the company's biggest step yet towards their primary goal of accelerating the world's transition to sustainable energy. Because as individual consumers, we are very limited in the effect that we can realistically have on the global market. Yes, driving an electric car will reduce your personal carbon footprint, but the size of your footprint pales in comparison to the crater-sized marks that major corporations are making on our environment. And so far, our government's approach trying to curb this behavior to make large corporations smarten up and stop killing our environment has been pretty lame. Just trying to tax the shit out of a corporation until they change their behavior isn't going to work. Somehow, Tesla are the only ones who have figured this out already. Just make sustainable energy financially worthwhile. That's it. If a company sees lower costs and higher profits in green energy, then they'll do it. Major corporations aren't run by Captain Planet villains who are destroying the environment just for fun. They just want to make as much money as possible, and right now, fossil fuel is what lets them do it. And that's why the Tesla Semi is so genius. It is giving every company on Earth that needs to move products from one location to another a better way to do that, a cheaper way to do it, a safer and more reliable way to do it. And the Tesla option just happens to be environmentally friendly as well. So as we get closer and closer to the day when these electric semi trucks hit the road, let's take a look at everything this machine can do and any updates that we've heard of since the official announcement a couple years ago. At the heart of the Tesla Semi will be their brand new 4680 battery cell in the new structural battery packs, powering four electric motors, one for each rear wheel. These will probably be the same motors from the Tesla Model 3, and this combination will give the Semi mind-blowing capabilities for range and acceleration. When the Semi was first announced in 2017, it was said to have a maximum range of 500 miles, and that's pretty good. But in the years since, Elon Elon has hinted that the real life figures will be closer to 620 miles of range. Some traditionalists will say that this is not enough to be practical, but that's simply not true for the majority of situations. In the United States, for example, 80% of all trucking routes are 500 miles or less, and the fast charging capability for the semi will be just as impressive as any other modern EV, being able to recover 400 miles of range in just a half hour of recharging. So any concerns about battery power being a limitation are pretty much negligible. The electric powertrain will also allow these trucks to accelerate quickly and smoothly, much more so than any diesel powered transport. A fully loaded Tesla Semi can get from a standstill to highway speed in just 20 seconds. Compare that to about one minute for the average 18 wheeler. Now, does this really matter? Well, if you've ever been stuck behind a slowly accelerating transport truck in heavy traffic, then you would know that this will make a huge difference. Big, slow moving transport trucks create a lot of traffic congestion, not to mention noise. They're a pain in the ass to be sharing the road with. The Tesla design would go a long way to relieving this issue. The design of the truck lends itself to the performance capabilities as well. Tesla has prioritized aerodynamics in the body construction of this truck. That equals an extremely low drag coefficient of just 0.36. That's sports car levels of aerodynamics. The design bucks the usual setup where the driver sits to the left of the cabin. In the Tesla, the driver is dead center with two 15 inch display monitors at their sides. And all of that performance actually comes at a cost saving versus the traditional 18 wheeler. Your average diesel truck today costs $1.51 per mile to operate. The Tesla is projected to cost $1.26 per mile. And I know it doesn't seem like much until you consider the average transport truck will cover 50,000 miles per year. That 25 cent difference becomes $12,500 per truck per year in savings. 
When you think in the long term that the Tesla will offer a 1 million mile lifespan with about 50% reduced costs for maintenance, these trucks will basically pay for themselves. And therefore, the Tesla Semi will be a clear choice for maximum profit for any company. Even though the Tesla clearly outperforms existing semi trucks, there has still been a lot of doubt raised about the overall practicality of this concept. Even some really smart and influential people like Bill Gates have been making claims that the Tesla Semi would never work, even right now in 2020. Yeah, gotta say, I find your lack of faith disturbing, Bill. But he does have a good point. It's just an uninformed point. Based on Tesla's current production technology as of this day in December 2020, Bill, you're right. The semi truck wouldn't work because it would be too heavy. See, the maximum allowable weight for a truck and trailer plus cargo is 80,000 pounds. So the heavier that the truck is, the less weight is available for cargo capacity and therefore the less useful the truck would be. So the current average weight for a semi truck is around 15,000 pounds. And if we take the current Tesla battery pack at around 1300 pounds per 100 kilowatt hour, then scale it up to the capacity that would be needed to power a four motor semi for 500 miles or more, which is about 10 times that capacity, then that battery pack alone in the semi would probably weigh about 13,000 pounds. That's bad. And that's probably the calculation Bill Gates used to form his opinion. Now, I should stress that I am not the first person to work out this math and take no credit for these calculations, but I am taking an opportunity to dunk on Bill Gates right now, and that's pretty sick. The reason that weight looks like such a problem for Tesla is because that 13,000 pounds figure was calculated based on their existing battery packs. But that's not the battery that will be going into the semi. The semi will be getting the latest and greatest in Tesla battery design, and that means 50% more efficiency than their current cell design, which would translate to 50% less weight, maybe even a little bit more. So that's getting us a lot closer to being practical. Then we have to consider the engine. Traditional semi trucks use humongous internal combustion engines that weigh around 3000 pounds. And these engines need a tank full of diesel fuel to get around. And that's another 1000 pounds or more of weight. Tesla's electric motors, they weigh about 70 pounds each, so even with four of them, we just have 280 pounds of engine weight. That's already solved a lot of the problem just in the powertrain. But when we also consider that Tesla has been experimenting with die casting new metal alloys, and they are constantly finding efficiencies in their materials and production process, then we can easily imagine that the frame and body of this new truck will absolutely be lighter than any semi that has come before it. When you stack all of these considerations on top of each other, you start to see that the weight really won't be nearly as much of an issue as some people have tried to make it out to be. The only bad news in all of this is the release date for these trucks continues to be pushed back further. This is almost certainly because Tesla is waiting for their manufacturing capability to catch up with the production demand of these vehicles. The semi is slated to begin production at the new Gigafactory in Austin, Texas, and that plant should be up and running in the first quarter of 2021. There have been an increasing number of Tesla semi sightings over the past few months. We've seen them on the road in Fremont, California. We've seen one delivering Tesla vehicles this year. We are getting close to seeing these things become a reality. And hopefully by the end of 2021, we will be seeing these trucks rolling off the assembly line. We haven't gotten an update recently on the official number of pre-orders for the new semi, but Elon said over a year ago they had 2,000 orders placed, and we know that total is going up all the time. Walmart Canada upped their order this year to more than triple their initial investment for a total of 130 trucks. In November of 2020, Pride Group Enterprises made an order for 150 trucks with the intent to add 350 more in the future. So the demand for this product is there. These major corporations are ready to make the switch. And yet again, Tesla is the company leading the way. Let us know what you think. Will the Tesla Semi be a success or a flop? Leave your comments down below. If you want to continue to learn about everything regarding Tesla, SpaceX, and Elon Musk, we've got two more video options for you on the screen to check out. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up today if you liked it and subscribe to our channel for weekly content just like this.